Hi YouTube, welcome to MA Academy C++ Pointers tutorial series. This is the third tutorial in this series and in this tutorial I will show you guys how to change or modify a variable's contents by using a pointer. So in the previous tutorial um, I showed you guys how to access um, contents of a variable with the help of a pointer and in order to do that we use this asterisk in here which is the dereferencing operator or we can say that it's the end direction operator so we saw that when we say end num is equal to 2123 this uh, integer gets stored inside the memory then we say end ptr is equal to the address of num so this ampersand this is the address of operator so whenever uh, we use that it means that uh, give me the address of the memory in which this integer resides which is num so wherever this 2123 resides inside the memory, memory uh, give me the address of it. Then we say int ptr. So this ptr, it's a pointer, right? Because we have this asterisk in here. So this asterisk, it is called the, um, it is the indirection or the dereferencing operator. So with the help of that, we can access the contents of this variable. So in the previous tutorial, you saw that I printed it, I printed the contents of the variable with the help of this ptr variable. But what we can do is we can also change the contents of this variable with the help of this pointer in here. So how do we do that? So in here, uh, you can see that first I say int num is equal to 2123. So now we can see that 2123 resides inside the memory. Then we have this pointer and we are saying it is um, equal to num. So whatever the address of num is, we are saying store its address inside the ptr pointer. Then we are printing its contents. So in here you can see that it is equal to 2123 so it prints it on a screen next we are saying so it's not like we can only access it we can also change its value uh, values so in here um if you look at this in here so the pointer contains the address of an integer to which we point so in this case ptr is uh, uh, saying it's equal to the address of the num uh, variable so it has the address of 322 so we can see that now the ptr has the address of this in here so we can not only print it, we can also change it. So in here you can see that I'm only saying print it, print it. But what we can do, we can also change it. So in here I'm saying PTR is equal to 4545 or 4545. So in here we can see that now its contents has changed. So when we say PTR is equal to 4545 or 4545, you can see that previously the contents of this was 2123. But this time it is 4525. 45. So with the help of this PTR or the pointer uh, using this um, uh, indirection or dereferencing operator, we can um, access the contents of the memory. We can also change it. So it's not like only accessing it. We can also change it. So in here you can see that I'm saying PTR is equal to 4,545. Then I'm printing it. So previously when I printed it on a screen, it said 2,123. But now when I'm saying print, uh, PTR. So now we can see that since we changed its contents to 4,545, uh, uh, it has changed. However, uh, now we can see that if we say C out num, and if we print this on a screen, I can't type today. So in here, uh, if I run this, so in here uh, the build succeeded. So now you can see that it says 4,545, even though we assigned 2,123 to it. Then in here we said PTR is equal to 4,545. So when we print out the contents of the num variable, so it means that it has changed its contents. It's not just like temporarily, it permanently changes its contents. Just like we can see in here that when I'm saying print num, so it's like uh, it prints the contents of that variable num. So we can see that previously it was 2,123. So when we change it, it gets permanently changed. So we can access it with the help of PTR. We can also access it directly. So you can see that it has changed. So we can, it's not like we can use it only change or we can access it. So we can both change and access the contents of a variable with the help of this um, indirection or dereferencing operator or we can say that we can dereference a pointer or uh, we can access the contents of a pointer or to whichever variable it is pointing to. Um, so this is it for this one guys. In the next tutorial, I will show you guys how to create a pointer to a pointer. So in here we can see that this pointer is only pointing to a uh, in, uh, to a variable but what if you have a pointer that points to a pointer which again points to, <laughs> to a data type so in here this pointer is directly pointing to a 
a variable in here to an integer data type in here that you can see but that if you have a pointer that points to a pointer so what if there is another pointer that points to this one so this is what we will cover in the next tutorial um, so this is it for this one guys if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and if you found this tutorial useful make sure to share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one